Hey guys, today I'm going to film a mini Sephora haul video, but before that, I just want to have a small ranting session to talk to you guys about my experience with Sephora. Now, the kind of experiences that I've had with Sephora has always nothing but pleasure. It's always been so fun. Everything was just, you know, super fast. Everything came in very safely. Nothing was, you know, damaged or anything. Um, I put this order at the very end of November or it could have been in the very beginning of December. Anyways, I put this order and then I was so excited because I ordered that freaking pearl highlighter from Becca. So I was like counting my days like when is it going to come? Um, and then I got a call from this, uh, this company. Well, um, Sephora does ship to Korea but it's kind of expensive and it's kind of a hassle so I prefer to use uh, a private shipping store service and then like have them ship uh, those packages to me that way it's cheaper safer I just you know like to have it that way so I got a call from this shipping company and they're saying uh, they just asked me how many items did you order and I was like uh, I put one order and that in in that order I got five different five individual items so there should be five items and they're like there's only one and I was like what only one? What does the invoice say? And they're like, uh, on the paper of the invoice, there are five items. But in the box, there's only one brush. And I was like immediately so frustrated and so mad. Like whatever the, whatever the case may be, it means that there's a problem and my order is going to take so, so long. It's going to take a long time to solve this problem. And that made me really mad because I mean, I was just like counting my days to get that pearl highlighter. Oh, I was so, so mad. So the next day, I made a call to Sephora and then this lady picked up and she was like, uh, it's going to take about at least eight to 10 days to investigate the situation. She kind of like um, implying, you know, very subtly implying that I could be lying, you know? I was very, very, I, I just felt very offended. Not like offended, but yeah, kind of offended. She was like, it's going to take at least like eight to 10 days to figure out what's going on and then they will decide what to do. And I was like, uh, okay, then I'll wait. So I hung up the phone, waited. I got nothing from Sephora. I had not heard a word from Sephora. I got so mad. And then I made a call again after like 10 days. And this time a guy picked up and then it just got disconnected. And I was like, wow, they're really, really testing me, right? So I made another call immediately. And then this lady picked up. She was really, really nice. And she was like, uh, so what's the problem? And I explained everything and she was like, hold on a minute. And she was just sorting things out and everything. And then after like a minute, uh, or so she was like, oh, we're going to send you uh, the rest of the items right away It's going to take about two days. Wow. That was really quick. I was like, wow, really? Are, are you not going to investigate or anything? So I'm guessing they do not keep track of their call histories because she did not know anything about my situation, my order, anything at all. So it was like, oh my gosh, that was that was a really really huge frustration so it took over a month to get my items all five items and i finally got them on my hands about a week ago and now i'm going to show you guys i only got five things first up is this brow powder duo in soft brown from anastasia nobody told me that the packaging is this freaking pretty like Every time I see tutorials of other people and they use this duo powder and they always show it like this, not like, you know, this, of course. So I've never expected this packaging to be this cute and pretty. I mean, it's adorable. I love that it's like shiny and smooth. Love this logo. It's so cute, guys. Uh, and then it has a mirror. Uh, I got this in soft brown. 
it's a little lighter for my liking and it's a little lighter for my hair color at the moment but I mean it's okay it's not that light where I cannot wear them today I'm wearing uh, other products but I really like it and then to use this brow powder to the fullest I got the uh, everybody's favorite number seven brow brush I mean it does say, I mean the name of this is like something something mini brow brush so I expected it to be mini but it's like really mini. You would see it and think that oh isn't it something that comes with the product like isn't it something free? Uh, it's very small, uh, it's definitely something that looks like free but um, it's good. I've used this about twice, maybe three times. It's a good product but I'm telling you, it's it takes a long time to uh, to just finish your brows. Like, if you're good with your makeup and you don't mind spending extra time to make that you know delicate line happen, delicate stroke happen, or if you're a makeup artist, then you'll find this brush very useful because I think this does what eye brow pencil does it just gives you the most perfect and uh, precise strokes um, however if you are a beginner and you're not very um, confident with drawing eyebrows then you might find this to be very crappy because um, this brush is very interesting because it's very skinny and um, it just takes forever to fill in the brows and you really need to have that um, you, you really have to be light-handed so if you're like heavy-handed it is very easy to fuck up so <laughs> Uh, definitely uh, practice a lot if you have this brush and you haven't had luck to make that you know really really on flick brows uh, because it definitely took me some time to get used to this brush so that was number seven and then I got this um, locket powder foundation from Cap on D I got it because it's Nikki Tutorial's favorite. I'm a huge fan. I'm a slave for her makeup look. So I got this in Light 45. It says it's a powder foundation, so I'm kind of confused. Is this powder or is this foundation? I haven't touched it. <gasps> oh my gosh, no! What happened? I didn't do anything. Oh my gosh, it completely shattered. R.I.P. No! Oh, I'm heartbroken, guys. I mean, it's freaking expensive. It's like 30 something, like 40 something dollars. And it's freaking shit. No! By the way, this is Friday night. And now I'm even more depressed than I was like a minute ago. So, yes. Um. Uh, and then I got uh, Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation Stick. I have never used a um, stick foundation, so I have very high hopes for this because this is from Makeup Forever. You know it's going to be a good quality. I got this in number 115, which is R230. I don't know if this is going to match my skin tone because I, I just, you know, I. I've, it's been a long time since I tried Makeup Forever foundation and I was too lazy to go to the store and color match it so I just um, looked up some swatches on Google and just picked this color 115 so that's that and the star of the show today is this one the pearl highlighter from Becca yes so this is pearl guys I'm sure you guys have seen it like a zillion times but again this is pearl and the pigmentation is just crazy it's like a chalk it's so highly pigmented and this is like legit off-white so I don't know how that's going to show up on my skin but I'm just so excited yay yeah, I, I'm, I'm just too heartbroken to rave about it because that Kat Von D powder foundation just completely, you know, is dead on me. Anyway, so this is pearl highlighter. I cannot wait to use this and show you guys 
in my upcoming tutorials. So yeah, that was all right. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to see more videos from me, definitely don't forget to throw the big thumbs up for me and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also, if you want to have more fun with me, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and Snapchat. Those are all Makeup by Dami. You guys have a fantastic day and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!